2K has decided to tweet out earlier today, bro. Like it was it was wild. I was looking at the tweet and I'm like, why y'all doing like first first it first it popped off in Discord. Like you know when matter of fact, I gotta turn the music off. You know when you get a Discord noti from By Ray Math, just subscribed. Yo, appreciate the big prom set for three months, yo. I ain't even gonna lie, I appreciate that. But listen, 2K, y'all sent out some crypt. Well, it wasn't even cryptic, but it was just weird timing. 2K sent out a Discord noti to their 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 big ass server on Discord, letting everybody know and reassuring everyone that shooting hasn't been touched since the beginning of season two now i'm like well why would they why would they tweet that out and then it dawned on me yo 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 he see he see the neck he see the neck issue he see the y'all see the neck issue don't y'all look at my neck bro look at my neck bro this is this is this is old raunchy's merch this is this is this is old raunchy. This is this ain't raunchy merch. This is old raunchy. Old raunchy, how you did me dirty, bro. Why my sweater doing these, bro? <laughs> that nigga said my neck smiling, <laughs> bro, bro, I'm fucking bro. All right, look. So look, right, let's let's talk about what 2K had. Uh, they, they sent this on every platform, by the way. Hey, NBA 2K community, there has been no changes made to shooting in NBA 2K24 since the ones made at the start of season two. We encourage everyone to rely on our official 2K channels for information about changes to on-court gameplay and other NBA 2K24 updates. Now, wait. Let's talk about this for a moment because I'm going to tell you where all this came from. Bam! God damn. That was fast. That, that was fast. Look at this right here, chat. Look at this right here. NBA 2K Lab put out a tweet, right? And in this tweet, they let people know about the no meter green window size increase. Pre-patch versus pro-patch. Now, when they put this shot up, I'm like, okay. Let's talk about the green window, right? Now, of course, they said pre-patch was plus 20%, which 2K has already told us. Plus 20% without the meter, that's what you get. But for some reason, they said after the patch... There was only a plus 3% to people not using meters. Now, can I be honest? Can I be honest? NBA 2K Lab has been doing things like this for years. They have been in the community since Rudy Gay. And if you don't know what that means, you ain't been in the 2K community long. Let me just let you understand rudy gay was a base uppers that everyone in the community at one point were using because they were fucking cheese and nba 2k labs used to come out with them testing jump shots and and bases and green window sizes to, and they they are who they are right now because of all the groundwork that they put in within the community now let's be honest if 2K got to make tweets like this because NBA 2K Labs is making tweets like these, it looks like we have a problem. It looks like we have contradiction on the line. Now, of course, NBA 2K Labs is very reputable. A lot of people go to their website for free content and other content if you sign up for a, a fee i'm not sure if it's monthly or yearly i don't have a subscription i try to i try to push my neck down when i did that but i don't think it's working um but with 2k labs being so reputable in a community 
one thing that I noticed is that this tweet is still up. That means 2K said, you know what? We can't stop it. It's already out there. This tweet came out November 5th. It is now November 6th. A whole 24 hours after this went out, 2K had to say, hold on now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We are who we are. Listen to us only. So now it stands to say, without saying any names, because we all know everybody got their information about their green window videos that they all dropped yesterday. Everybody talked about the jump shots that they talked about in spaces. Everybody made streams and titles and everything like that about this post. Now is 2K saying that you can no longer trust what NBA 2K Labs is saying? Dumb the shit like that, shit like that, shit like that. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave y'all, I'm gonna leave that up to y'all. Is 2K now saying that they no longer want anybody out there to listen to anything that anybody got to say about they game? Give a fuck about what I pie say. Give a fuck about him. That nigga don't play lock anyway. Fuck him. Don't don't listen to that bald headed motherfucker. That nigga don't know what he talking about. JT Thor has not been a good jump shot for the last two years. Everybody ain't greening with JT Thor. That's a goddamn lie. We got proof. Chat, not only does this tweet right here set a precedent, but it also has a community like stirring right now. Now, of course, I'm going to be honest with you. When I boot up on 2K, I just want to have fun with my friends. I don't boot up 2K for competitive reasons. I don't boot up 2K for grinding reasons. I don't even boot up 2K for build reasons. I just get on the game, call up a couple people, hit a couple people on my Discord server, and say, yo, who trying to run tonight? And that's my extent of NBA 2K. But for everybody else that's deep down in the trenches of it all, changing your jump shot every night, making a new build every two days, just straight up saying it might be the console, if you said it might be the console you on, my brothers, my sisters, you have been led astray. Okay? You have been led astray. If, if this game got you saying, I think I need to buy a new controller, it got to be my monitor. It, my Ethernet cords ain't Cat 5. And my Wi Fi connection only 300 megabytes. What's my ping? If this game got you thinking about things of that nature, breathe, okay? Fucking breathe, all right? It's not that goddamn serious. <laughs> it's not that goddamn serious. Chat, I'm t the lag, bro. The lag, bro. Listen, I, like, like, let, let, let's look at some posts, right? So some posts that came through, of course, it was like promotional posts. Badge Plug has his own code for 2K Labs, you know what I'm saying, if you want to sign up for their stuff. Um, somebody said, out of curiosity, how could this even be tested? How do you test a green window you can't see? Now, 2K Bill Guru said, a modded controller that can release at the exact timing over and over. If it can green at the release point, it's in the window. Eventually, as you move away from the center, you will no longer be able to green. And that's the end of the window. And uh, they say they say a lot in their videos. They touch a jumper at every millisecond with a modded controller that's set timeable. So basically, they they are using controllers to test these things. And 2K Labs has been doing a good job, apparently, because obviously they still in business. They would not be in business if they weren't doing their motherfucking thing out here. So obviously they shit is on par. You know what I'm saying? So more more stuff. Um <laughs> this nigga, this nigga Chris 
He said, y'all ever post good news about this game? It's like when the shooting cool, y'all fuck it up. Then y'all fix the shooting only to fuck it up again. Not y'all, but 2K. God damn. That boy had a whole lot to say and then... And then <laughs> yo, this nigga said, I knew I wasn't crazy. Yo, that is yo, that is wild, bro. For somebody to say that they felt a, a 17% difference in their green window is wild. Bro, you mean to tell me you can tell the difference between a 17% difference in your ability to hit the green window? Of a meter that you can't see without a modded controller that you aren't using. <laughs> oh my God, Garcel. 2K got niggas losing their mind, bro. I have never seen so many niggas in a straight jacket in all of my days, bro. Literally. <laughs> that boy is the script. <laughs> Bro, let me see, man. Uh and then he said cap shooting 50% from three. Um, where did you get the three percent size increase? Is that at the edges where the percent make percentage is at uh above 50? Is the major change that the pure green window portion expands by five to ten milliseconds? 2K Bill Guru obviously knows what they're talking about, and it's oh it's above my pay grade. But he has no replies to this, so obviously nobody nobody gave him the sauce. Um, maybe they maybe they might have DM'd them. I don't know. But um, let me see. Uh, that's what that's why shooting feels different. He added three devs. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, game in the bin. Continue to make it worse somehow. We as a community need to stop supporting this company. Wow. Um, why do I keep seeing this, bro? Fuck off, bro. Um, not interested, nigga. All right. Um, so basically there's a little difference for using no meter. Um, no way that's true. There's literally less than 2K23. I literally spent hours working on a shot timing without the meter. Long on my third day, and you guys do this seriously. Like bro. <laughs> you turn on or off, you still won't shoot. Everybody in the wreck tonight didn't even shoot 17 percent everybody one for five two for 11 over oh four three point shooting is damn near dead yeah we're still winning but yeah but shooting is dead they're doing this shit on purpose they want you to spend more money can i can i be honest i think that we should all start taking mid-ranges just fucking troll out there man just take your mid-ranges Take what they give you. Don't be care. Don't be scared to fade. Don't be scared to spin. Don't be scared to step back midi. Like use the fuck out of your midi magician. You want to know what's crazy, chat? I played with Jubug in New York in a park. I think I was 0 for 3 from 3. And I said, fuck. I'm in that nut ass shooting slump. Don't you know my ass pulled up from mid-range and green 3-3. Three, three, I mean three uh middies. Back to back to back. I can't make this shit up. We was on a 10 game winning streak. The, 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 the content is somewhere here on my Twitch VODs, but we was on a 10 game streak and I, and I missed three threes in green three middies. I'm up with that three point shooting, man. I think we should. Delete the game. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, I'm not, I'm not interested in this ad either, bro. Oh, uh, let me see. Anything, anything else of any substance? Let me see. Can you test a uh, shot timing stability? I swear a couple days ago it was touched. I have Patty Mills and it's a C or C minus before. It was automatic. Now every shot feels different speed, but I can't tell if I lost my ability to shoot overnight or not. Yo, yo, yo. The game got this man questioning his ability to press a button. The game is making this person right here contemplate if they really know how to press a button for real. Bull said, I don't even know if overnight I just lost the ability to do these. Like Bull said, 
Carter, they're not ready to have that convo on taking the midi. They rather change jump shots mid-game than take a midi. I mean, I mean, that's, that's a fact. That is a fact. But one more, A.B. Mills. You gonna press that button? Do you trust yourself? B. Mills. B. Mills. B. Mills. B. Mills. B. Mills. B. Mills. Play! Fuck! Niggas act like they can't shoot. Niggas is going through it, bro. Niggas is going through it, bro. I swear to God. Niggas is going through this shit, bro. Oh my God, bro. If you shoot a late like a straight late in this game, bro. Yo, something's up. Something's up, bro. Something's up. Something is up, bro. All right, so look. So we have the tweet from 2K, right? Now, let me see. Uh, one thing for certain, 2K gonna give us some uh, trash every three years. Every three? Uh, uh, I don't think this is a trash year, though. We'll see. We still not we still not there yet. Give give it to January. Um, okay, boom. Double H said lowering the green window for no meter to three percent is diabolical. What do y'all think about this? They they gave they gave short the shorty that interview Drake. Um damn, look at Joe Nose. Like, bro, this is this is all these are creators who went to community day. Like, these are these are creators that's like yeah yeah like yeah damn i muted somebody i don't know who i muted <laughs> revert everything back to the first two weeks this needed delayed fix and it was good we literally can't because sometimes mike wayne touches the game and we don't hear about it from the source until five hours later minimum okay um you guys don't even update us on changes why should we rely on you we're going to go with what's most accurate and what players are feeling. And obviously you guys don't know the community or care about it. God damn. It, it seemed like a whole lot of, a lot of check marks is out here, bro. What happened to the end season tournament? Okay. You talking about something totally different. Just fix this input delay. Okay. Oh shit. Not this John. Not this John chat. They hit him with the why the fuck you lying John, bro. Nah, that's crazy. Nah, not the cap joint. Yo, that's look a bullet, bro. Yo, everybody, everybody is. This is literally everybody in the community all responding to them. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. I still can't believe people don't realize how crazy it is when we have. A NBA 2K lab doing all these tests on things we should know as a community. We we someone testing badge effectiveness when 2K should be giving us the percentage on each single badge and level. Um, any update on some real patch notes and badge descriptions right now? We are looking at badge descriptions with vague terms and no numer numerical values. Numerical. Why the fuck I say numerical? <laughs> numerical. Um, values making the community test the badges for themselves, treating us like little detectives and <laughs> they have to use their vc just to find out wow okay now this is actually some good content because i could talk about this um i'm not gonna lie I fuck with the game i'm a kobe fan i take that motherfucking midi all day i'm telling you more people gotta take that midi man hey alex appreciate the 45 biddies too um oh by the way uh alex and and this is for everybody in the chat i believe that Voice donations like how um, B Mills had on is for a hundred bits, and I think a dollar donation via stream elements, I believe. So like if you donate via stream elements, for one dollar, I think it'll it'll ping like the voice for my donating bot, and when you do a hundred bits, so yeah. So if you was trying to get like something to be said, then yeah. Um, let me see. Yo, that MIDI has been patched to no, no, Remy, stop it, stop it. Now that now that's cap. That's cap. The MIDI, the MIDI could never get touched. The MIDI too good. The MIDI is too good. It can't get touched. Um, we need 2K labs to keep 2K from pulling the wool over our eyes. I mean, yo, you gave Mike Wang a one star on LinkedIn now. Y'all too deep in. Y'all too deep in, bro. Y'all are too deep in, bro. What? Alright, so look. 
about this, right? So this person said that they can't believe that there's somebody like NBA 2K Labs that exists and that NBA 2K is not giving us this knowledge on their own. What I can say to that is that I've been wanting 2K to give us more of a... If anybody has ever played Elden Ring or heard about it when it was the biggest thing in America, in the world, Elden Ring gave us percentages and breakdowns for every little item, every little armor, every little potion, every little spell, every little weapon, every little shield, every little helmet, every little, like, everything had a description, a detailed description, how it would work with other items if they were put on your character, all of that. 2K does not give us that as well as they gave us a sliding scale as far as our badges go. So the sliding scale of badges is what makes the game even worse than what it is because when you have a sliding scale of badges, 2K will tell you that the badges don't matter and that it's all about the ratings. But I'm going to be honest with you. People will play with a gold something and know that it's 10 times better than silver somebody will play with hall of fame something and know that is it is a million times better than when it was on bronze you know what i'm saying like i play i play with right stick ripper now right so when i made my six eight build i didn't have right stick ripper and i was complaining about not getting steals until i start using right stick ripper more and more and more and more and more putting it inside the overdrive or whatever the case may be once that badge got the gold i was taking everything i was like oh i'm back bitches we're here Grab the drinks. Throw the lights on. Hey, hey, DJ, play my music. The lock is back. The lock is back. Uh, uh, it's like shit like that, bro. Like I was really feeling like, you know what? I'm that guy now because of my badge tier. It's just that simple, bro. No matter if I had a 96 tail with bronze right stick ripper, like once that joint got the gold or better, I was feeling it heavy. Like, oh, nah, this motherfucker procking every time. So that's the way that I feel about that, bro. Now, since we do have something like NBA 2K Lab, I, I'm going to be honest, as a conglomerate of 2K, like if I was on any of their uh, board of directors or whatever the case may be, or somebody who could outsource a company or whatever the case may be, I would have done everything in my power to hire NBA 2K Lab. Because the best thing about NBA 2K Lab is their social media account is already in line it already has at nba 2k in front of it so all you got to do is buy out the company let and just let them do what they do but put that information in the game whether it be a small cut scene whether it be percentage breakdowns within your ui hire them bring them on to the fold and everything will be a little bit better because then this service I, and i know that this this service is not free nba 2k labs has to make their breach but maybe 2k just pays them a crazy amount of money to keep them afloat and we just get the shit for free whether it's the jump shot shit the bad shit the the, the dribble shit like whatever the case may be on nba 2k lab website it will get integrated to nba 2k.com you know what I'm saying? And it just be a resource for us to use. I'm just saying, because one thing that I can tell you about is that we do not get manuals anymore, game manuals, game uh, guides and, and stuff like that. We don't get those anymore. No matter what video game you have coming out. I remember when they used to drop the, the, the game guide to help you progress through the story. Now, I know that a lot of people watch YouTube for, for help and stuff like that to help guide them and stuff like that. And that's where a lot of people, you know, make content on build videos, jump shot videos, dribble videos and stuff like that. But the biggest thing about all of that is that NBA 2K Lab is literally that resource. It is the game manual to becoming a nerd for the game. The people who want to deep dive into the numbers, into the percentages, into all of that underlining stuff, but you know, right before you get to the coding and shit, that's what NBA 2K Lab is. You know what I'm saying? Like no nobody in the 2K community wants to buy a modded controller to test things. Nobody does. Because guess what they're doing? Some are buying Zens to shoot better standing still. Some people are spending 
oh my god hundreds of dollars on multiple bills because something might not have worked with the other bill and it's getting egregious i'm hearing all i'm hearing all the sob stories you know what i'm saying people people some, somebody literally came to me and said yo pod i know I, I know that you don't normally do this bro but i need 15 dollars so that i can buy the hundred dollar pack to get vc on 2k i believe that i'm at my like right there on the perfect build for my play style. And all I need is $15 from you. Those are the type of messages that I get. Th this shit, it is addictive. It is super, super addictive. It's, it, you know what I mean? It's literally people's livelihood. People love this game. People will do anything for this game, like spend thousands of dollars. You know what I'm saying? And, on, and this is on a yearly basis. You have to understand people are going to spend their money on whatever they want to spend their money on. And you can't be mad at that. But what I'm trying to do is let people know like, yo, put the drug down. It's going to be okay. You're going to get through this. <laughs> Appreciate that follow, bro. A Zen ain't looking too bad right now and Black Friday around the corner. Look at this. Look at this, bro. I ought to, boy, I ought to, <laughs> Well, if I want to break my goddamn camera, Bob, <laughs> well, give me your hand. Give me a hand right now. <laughs> yeah, 2K Toots as well. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Wow. Wow. Are you going to do that? K Sounds, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about me. This is how dedicated I am to y'all. This is how super dedicated I am. Right now, in real life, my server is going through an incursion right now. I am currently invading another server right now, brother. Currently invading another server. And I'm here with y'all. I love y'all that much. You know what I'm saying? Just had to boot the game up and everything. Because I'm not there. I, I could be raiding for billions of resources. But I'm here with you. And you all. <laughs> Now, listen, just imagine getting stick drift on your second controller. Bro, listen, 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 listen. Let me tell you something. Like, we could have, we could have, we could have a, a conversation, bro. Like, like, bro, we can, we can have a conversation on stick drift, the, 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 the square button not working, X button bit. Oh my God, you hear that? You hear that shit? That motherfucker getting stuck. This shit crazy. God damn. Shit just, shit just broke. Oh, oh. R ones and R twos not like. I got plenty of those. I got plenty of those. You know what I'm saying? That ain't shit. Better do a bounce pass every time. Every time. B bills that I'm not ready for that conversation. Let me see. Um, I was 70 to 75% from mid and they patched it. I never been great from the three like that, but killer with the uh with the kid. Got videos and all after these patches. I can't hit consistently for shit. Damn. Yo, appreciate that follow. Yeah, square sticking is damn near close to death. I'm bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They lost the trust. Hey, hey Nooney, tell me how they <laughs> tell me how they lost the trust. <laughs> tell me how they lost the trust, <laughs> bro. They put tutorials on games instead of giving books with the games. Um, seems people don't like reading. I mean, that is true. That is true. I mean, it's just it's the same thing as like how now people listen to audio books over over reading. You know what I'm saying? iPod. I know how to fix stick drift. You better not tell me to press X. Go ahead. Tell me how to fix stick drift. I'm going to let you go ahead and tell me. Go ahead. Thanks again, iPod, for trying to help me with my account. No problem, Sizzo. You already know the vibes, bro. What's on the agenda for today? Honestly, we was just talking about how, you know, uh, we, we wanted to know if, if, if 2K is starting to lose people's trust. You know what I'm saying? As the fans go, like, you know, we are in, uh, what's this, month? 
three. This is the third month. We were pulling up on, you know, two months of the game being out fully and things are looking things are looking hold on speaking of which hold on hold on chat nba 2k 24 is currently currently trending it's currently trending um the, uh shoe says zens are still in nba 2k 24 some guy in a, in a, in a, in a theater said that uh, he admitted to it. Um, said this is how everyone feels playing NBA Two K Twenty Four. Um, he looks like he is. You know what? Let's let's listen to this. I will. I will. I will give this a listen. That. Let's do it. Let's let's bring it back. What's supposed to walk out this bitch do? Can't drive and dunk your nigga. Don't take off no more. I'm throwing the ball off niggas' heads. They jump, you can't run around them because you bump into them and lose the ball. Like, how the fuck I'm supposed to play this as a guard? How? What the fuck I'm supposed to do? Then it just sound like I'm bitching, ask any guard. Ask any guard on the game. We can't do shit. How the fuck we getting patched and we already in the worst position on the game? We can't burst, we can't shoot, we can't walk, we can't run, we can't pass, we can't dunk. Somehow we the niggas still getting patched. Baluba in the in the bitch cooking. Let's make them say bad shot selection. Nah, we're not gonna give them Jordan season one. Switch Trey Faith to Ben McLemore. Make them find it. Nah, we'll hide Trey Young behind season three as well. Nah, don't let the center hit a layup neither. Then then the PGs have to score. Let's let them pluck them. Let's shrink the size of the court. I like that one. Like, come on, my nigga. What the fuck am I playing, my nigga? This is ridiculous, bro. I've been trying to keep it up. I've been trying to keep it a whole thou with it, too. Like, I've been trying to do everything except call the game dog shit. The game is so ass. I can load up with the Lakers right now and hit 10 in a row with AD, but my AD can't hit a wide open shot off the wing. How AD able to hit yellow zone off, but I can't shoot wide open with sharp bats because it's a bad shot selection. That don't even make sense. I'm sure I go to the next and shoot with Ben Simmons. I hit one before my point guard. Lock you wide open in the corner, bad shot selection. How's the bad shot? He got 85 3. Send it wide open on the roll. Hit me earlier. Can't even catch it. Can't catch it. I thought I was playing Madden for a sec. I got a free form it. My center can't catch the roll. What the? Who, the, who my option? My shooting guard can't burst or shoot from Lindless. I can't dribble or shoot from Lindless. Only nigga smiling on the court is the lock. Lock's just cheesing. Get that pluck. Let me pluck him. Oh, let me pluck him. We might as well make five blocks and just go out and pro him and let's just all have 40 steals. Score at the end of the game, 16 to 14. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He was spitting that shit. Yes, sir. He was. Nigga, all you need is a lock out there, baby. Spin that motherfucker. <laughs> Spin that motherfucker square, nigga. Oh. And this is why I said, I love this game. PGs are dog shit. I fucking love it. I can't get enough of it. Defense rules, nigga. That's all you need. 6-6 six, six, perimeter lock. 6-8 six, do it all lock. That's all you need. Sit your ass in the corner. Let's play ball like the fucking college athletes or the Spurs. Fundamentals. Stand still. Keep kicking it to the motherfucking slide too much. Then shoot that shit. Just lock up everything. That's all you need. <laughs> That nigga said you see you the problem. How am I the problem? I didn't do this to y'all. I I swear. I swear. I didn't go to community day. I didn't talk to any devs before launch. Nothing. I swear it's not my fault. I promise y'all. I'm not even winking. Like, look, I'm not winking.
No winks. My fingers not crossed. I didn't do this to y'all. Y'all did this to yourselves. Let me see. Uh, okay, Twitter X. Okay, boom, boom, another major change. Okay, boom, boom, six hours ago. Boom, boom, okay, okay. Boom, 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 boom okay, okay, okay. They, they giving out per... <laughs> Chad, this is the problem. They giving out perfect jump shot videos. But that... some people out here saying, we need better defense in the game though. What do we really want though? I am confused. I tell you what they want. They want people to be able to do everything unimaginable. They want everybody to do spins, snatchbacks, hezzies, throw it off a of locks heads, shoot fading threes from the logo, shoot standstills from the art, shoot motherfucking half court heaves. Like everything that was happening in the first week of the game, this is what they want. They want that back. Everybody felt like they were shooting demons because they could hit from anywhere. But in the same sense, they don't want those same wonky animations happening with locks. Y'all do understand that the lock can only do two things. Swipe and swat. That is all a lock can do. He has the two S... Angelis Pro has just subscribed. So like I was saying, right? The lock can only do two things, swipe and swat. Yes, they can bump you. Yes, they can cut you off. But their, their superpower is swiping and swatting. That's what they do best. A guard... Someone who can dribble the ball, they have many tools in their arsenal. But the biggest problem was that when guards would do it behind the back, the ball would morph back to the other hand and get stolen by a lock. And they couldn't understand why. And I'll tell you why. Because in the game, there are certain moves and certain things that you see that aren't real. We've seen Steezo break the game time and time and time and time and time again. We've seen him break the game. We've seen him make a ball, stop doing what it's doing, and come back to the same hand, throw it over to the other hand, make that hand do the same thing. Throw that motherfucker around his head, twirl it, spin it off the top of his head, and then keep on dribbling. We've seen Steezo do... Seven step spin moves, 16 step step backs, 14 step hezzies, 67 step crossovers. We've seen him do all of this. That shit is lit. It's amazing. But when it creates a disadvantage for said player, it's ass. It's garbage. It's dog shit. Because now, Locks are only utilizing the same mechanics that 2K put in a video game that they couldn't stop Steezo from using. So what makes you think they was going to be able to stop people from ripping that goddamn ball? Hmm? Hmm? So when we talk about what people really want, they don't want, they, they don't want to have fun. They don't want to have fun. It's that simple. Um, hey, yo, and you said you had to sub here. Been watching for years, gang. Following up on heavy on the Facebook grind. You killing it out here, gang. You appreciate that, Angel. You said the envy is crazy. Skill issue. I didn't say. I didn't say thank you to Angel. I could have sworn. Damn, hold on.
That shit didn't work. Appreciate that prom sub, Angel. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tier one, tier one. Don't don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I'm sorry. Tier one. Don't choke me. All right. <laughs> now, like I was saying, right? Um, everybody that plays NBA 2K, they want to win. That is the main goal. When things aren't going a player's way, they will say some of the craziest things like the game is, is not good. The game is dog. The game is this. The game is that. They want to win. Everybody wants to win. But this game is unpolished. Excuse me. 2K did something that we've never seen before. They introduced pro play technology. When I first heard about pro play technology, mm, I thought it was more so like, you know, something to do with gameplay, something to do with visuals, something like that, right? When I found out that it was a whole new way to capture NBA players' essences, is that even a word? An NBA player's essence. When I knew that that was in the game, I said, holy shit, we up. When you think of the best dribblers to ever grace the court, I know a lot of people think, shit, Kyrie one of them, he one of them hitters. But you won't put on all of Kyrie dribbles because all of Kyrie dribbles won't allow you to play the way that you've been playing NBA 2K since NBA 2K16, nigga. That's the problem. You won't throw on one person's, his entire package, his entire essence, because it won't allow you to play the way you've been playing for almost eight, nine years. You been, y'all been playing this way going on a decade. It's time to give that shit up. It's fine if it's a niche and it's a couple people out there that do it. But every single person in the world don't got to have the same dribble moves. Everybody ain't got to play the same way. Everybody ain't got to watch four dribble tutorials and four different people told you the same thing. It's like, oh, that stamped. Four people told me the same dribble moves. Of course they did. They telling you the same dribble moves to make you dribble the same way you've been dribbling since you've been dribbling, nigga. It's time. Give that shit up, bro. It's time. Let that shit go. Yes, it's elite ass niggas out here. I am not saying it's not. These niggas will drop me off any chance they had. They would. If I can't lock that shit up, guess what, nigga? We lost. Ha ha. See y'all tomorrow. I'm logging off. But, bro, it's time, bro. Literally, I've been on Twitter watching member like what are they what would they call them? I would call them the the 2K IRL essence videos. We've seen the Kobe videos, we've seen the Magic Johnson videos. Shit, I seen a Ben Simmons video the other day. I think it was yesterday, and I fucking responded to it, letting them know that shit was fire. We're watching people literally make builds, go into the wreck, go on the threes, and use these builds as in if they were the real player, like a template, like a replica, using all of the player's animations. And they look damn good. And yes, motherfucker, I know it's only highlights. What else they do for the rest of the recording? I don't give a fuck. The highlight came out. Mwah, nigga. It came out good. While they was in that bitch cooking it up. Yeah. Some shit going to spill off the top and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I know it's going to get messy in that kitchen. I know you cooking up. But the, the end product of watching people make like resemble type videos of the IRL player to their rec players is immaculate. But we're still stuck. Wanting to make our builds do all of these miraculous things that we've been doing since 2K15, 16, 17. Why are we so stuck there? 
Why can't we evolve as players? Why can't I look at a guard and say, nah, that, that, that's Curry right there. We're going up against Curry tonight. Nobody wants to go up against Stephen Trey Irving Curry. Tonight. Like Nobody wants to do all that. Nobody wants to go up against motherfucking... The, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Maybe I'm rambling. Maybe I'm rambling. Maybe I'm rambling, but let me be clear. Everybody is not A tier. Everybody's not S tier. But if we keep watching content like this right here, the somebody giving you a perfect jump shot almost two months into the game, how perfect can it be? I'd rather you make a jump shot that works for you. Yes, watch all of these videos. Take from them, but build on that. The reason why I'm so good with my jump shot is because I know what the visual cue looks like. So when I shoot that bitch, I know what it looked like. I know what it feel like in it's cash. But so many people out there get stuck in trying to be the best player on 2k and emulate this image of someone that we don't even fucking know who are we looking up to god who the 2k god when you when y'all looking down on us who should we emulate nigga almost got nigga almost made me a hey, nut so that that's how i feel when i look up Nigga got me screaming nuts, so for real, bro. Cause that's what niggas is sounding. Niggas is sounding like nutsos, bro. Every week, every day, this change, that change, this change, that change, this change, that change. Make a new build. Spend another hundred. Get maximum overdrive. Make four ninety five build overalls. Spend your money. Spend your money. Spend your money. <laughs> Nigga, at this point, bro, chat, 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 I swear to God, bro. At this point, I just be like, man, fuck it, man. Just take, just take it off. So what? You're just gonna put your iPod on shuffle? Thank you, Benny. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K, and I keep making bang, making bang, making bang, making bang. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K, and I keep making bang, making bang. Every single song you own is a banger.